Hi, it's Chris from Implied Music. Felted piano, a curtain of fabric between the hammers and the strings, mutes the sound of a piano, and it changes the color of the sound. You know, that sound, uh, that piano sound is everywhere these days. I, there's a, a, a Spotify list, uh, Calm Vibes or something like that. There's nothing but felted piano, and it's a beautiful sound. Piano Tech has an update this week that offers uh, felted options on all of its piano models. It's awesome. And I was very excited to get it. But I also have contact instruments and labs instruments that offer felted piano options. Well, there's a lot to choose from and they're all a little bit different. So let's dive in and take a look at half a dozen or so. We've got some honorable mentions at the end. Um, there's a lot to look at. Let's go to the DAW. <music> Well, here's the interface for uh, Piano Tech. And if you've never used the instrument, and it's, it's possible that you haven't, you, Piano Tech is an algorithmic piano instrument, and it gives you models of various pianos, including down here, acoustic pianos, Steinways, more exotic manufacturers, some Korean manufacturers, as well as a lovely upright. Let's take a look at the Jazz Upright, the Yamaha U4 model, and take a look at uh, the felted options. I'm just gonna play. So I'm playing, I'm gonna play like uh, kind of the same piece of music every time, I, but, and I'm not using the, the DAW as a sample player, I'm just gonna perform it. So, lovely. Characteristic of the felted piano sound is a fairly strong action noise. You can hear the hammers returning to rest and the sound of the dampers releasing off the strings. I like this. This is a, a lovely sound. And we've got, oh, we've got a couple of um, interesting options. One of the things that they're letting us do in this new model is to have a humanized version of the unison width. The unison width on a, on a piano is how the three strings are tuned to each other. So by changing the unison width, you can change the color of the piano sound quite a bit. One of the characteristics of an acoustic piano is that every note is a little bit different, and we want that to be a possibility for us. And that's something that we can't have with a sampled instrument. Well, Piano Tech does a great job of modeling sound, but there's more to look at. So let's hop, hop over. Let's hop over to the uh, the Labs Soft Piano, and this is perhaps the most downloaded and recorded piano on the planet right now, and for good reason. The great thing about the Labs Soft Piano is that it is free. Uh, Spitfire provides a player, the Labs player, and its interface is brutally simple. Um, an expression slider here, and this uh, brings up compression, so you get a slightly sense, a closer sound. There's some reverb as well. Woo. You really could do an album with this piano sound. And in fact, I think a lot of those tracks on the Spotify Calm Vibes playlist use just the soft piano. Let's move on. Uh, one of the older um, sample libraries that I have is um, Una Corda. This piano, and you can see the picture of it here, um, takes advantage of something that an acoustic piano can do, which is to shift the hammers over 
so that the hammer strikes only two or one of its three or two possible strings. And an unicorda sound is lovely. Uh, here, this one, um, I think designed and built for Oliver Arnold's, um, has a felt option as well. So you can hear it's a small sound, only one string. I'm really hearing the damper on this one. Here, just the damper. The dampers are wedges of felt which drop down into the string and then release here, dropping down. Uh, they're in the string right now, release. Sounds like someone strummed the strings and drop back down again. Very pretty. Well, um, there's another um, contact instrument, which I think is sanctioned by uh, Oliver Arnold's as well. And as I forget who the manufacturer of this is, but uh, the Noir uh, piano is a, a beautiful grand piano version of it and uh, super playable, very lovely. It's worth looking at a review of this instrument by itself because it's got any number of other unique uh, options, including a great implementation of the replica delay, which allows a kind of a cascading um, set of uh, echoes to harmonize and envelop the piano sound. It's very fun to play. Fracture Sounds um, provides us with a couple of interesting instruments. They're contact instruments. And the Woodchester Piano and Midnight Grand are favorites of mine. Um, the Woodchester Piano has uh, a basic, clean, sort of intimate sound. I'm not sure it's felted, but it could be. And if you'd like, you can add um, atmospheric intensity with these kind of pads that go underneath very playable instrument. Let's listen to just the piano sound. I hear the action noise quite a bit on that. And all these action noises and damper noises are adjustable, of course. I'm, we're just playing the basic stock sounds here. Let's um, compare the Woodchester piano to another offering from Fracture Sounds, their Midnight Grand, which uh, is, I think, definitely felted. So I'm hearing a little buzz, the kind of buzz that you get from the, the material, the fabric actually touching the strings when you play. And there's a very strong uh, key release as well as damper release and close. It's a lovely sound. A couple more to listen to, and then we'll just go into honorable mentions. Uh, the, the last sort of real felted sound that I'd like to play for you today. And there are a couple of others that I don't own. Although I, I think I do have a problem, I'll just admit it. Um, the, the Westwood upright felt piano, which I gotta say, I've used quite a bit. It's an intimate sound. It sits very well in the mix. You can hear it's got a good mid-range punch. It's not very dynamic. 
in terms of playing, but it does record well with its uh, buddies. Well, the last one I want to play you is not, strictly speaking, a, uh, a felted piano, but I had to include it because it sounds so darn cool from uh, Waves Factory. And, and they do some unique things as the old tape piano. I think it's like a cassette sample library from pianos. individual notes. You can hear a little warble, a little distortion. Oh my god. It sits great. And there's a tape drums as well. Well, one of the best parts about this is you can actually check out this. Play the tape. What fun. <laughs> um, the, the, I have some honorable mentions. I, ha I, I, made, I gave myself a list. First of all, although it's not a felt piano, it's got so many options that the Hevelocity Ascend Grand is one that I go to and use, especially in my theater and uh, you know video work. Um, and if you want a, some extended techniques, like muted piano, bowed piano sounds. Sonic Couture's um, extended piano is terrific. What else do I have down here? Um, Westwood, which we just saw there, uh, upright felt, has an alt piano, which is a great upright piano sound and is terrific for a song, that songwriter piano sound. And um, Fracture Keys, um, is has a, a glacial keys, which is like a harmonics version of piano with a lot of very cool things as well as their their sort of signature um, ambient pads that add in there. And I, I can't finish this discussion without saying uh, piano book. Christian Henson and the Spitfire crew initiated this years, a uh, couple years ago, two years, a year, I don't know. It seems like it's been forever because there's such an enormous set of contributions, crowdsource contributions. Piano Book is a sample library website, I guess is the best way to put it, that um, provides some unique instruments sampled by you and me. And there are some excellent felt pianos as well as like living room pianos, some oddball instruments that you'll never find anywhere else. You you sort of want to have contact, um, but there are also EXS uh, versions as well as decent sampler versions um, for everyone. Um, John Meyer has a felt piano out uh, just uh, this past month that I haven't had a chance to play yet, but sounds fantastic. The felt piano is a part of the current musical world. It, it, uh, it has a feeling of intimacy, immediacy, and uh, is great in headphones. In fact, I'm working in headphones today, which I don't ordinarily do. I really wanted you to hear the sound of the instrument at, at, its, at its best. Um, you don't have to be a pianist, obviously, to appreciate it. You can drop it in and just add chords from, from any old wear. Um, my favorite still, I don't know, I love piano tech because it's playable. Every note feels a little bit different. I love the different piano models. The Lab Soft Piano is a defining sound in the felt piano world, and it's free. Um, the Woodchester and Midnight Grand have a, a ton of character, super playable. In fact, every one of these instruments offers something unique within the range that it's living in. Well. I hope this has been useful. Um, like, subscribe, hit the bell. Let's see, what else do we say here on YouTube? I really want to know what's up for you. What are you working on right now? What can I do to help? I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.